So our next international award winner, we're now switching out of optogenetics uh, into uh, the area of genomic imprinting. So Dr. the first uh, person coming to the stage will be Dr. Davos Salter, and he's being awarded along with Professor Asim Sarani for the discovery of mammalian genomic imprinting that causes paternal parent of origin specific gene expression and le leads to consequences for development and disease. Dr. Salter, can you please come up to the stage? His music is Domine Deus from Vivaldi's Gloria. Well, what can I tell you which hasn't been said? Um, but I should start first by thanking and mentioning my postdoc, Jim McGrath, who did most of these experiments for us, honored. The other person who certainly had enormous influence on scientific success of our laboratory is my uh, wife and lifetime collaborator, Barbara Knowles, who uh, had a very important insight. She knew always what experiments need to be done. She knew what results mean, and most importantly, what results do not mean. <laughs> so she really kept us honest all this time. Now, obviously, as the saying goes, if you don't play, you cannot win. That also is true that if you are not nominated, you cannot get a prize. <laughs> so, so I'm really thankful to my two nominators and I would say scientific childhood friends, Bridget Hogan and Gail Martin, who are here. Um, you have to realize uh, discovery of imprinting was something which happens very rarely in one's life that you suddenly discover something which you never could have guessed that it existed. And it took you a long time to actually accept that there is a new thing in life and in genetics which hasn't been in existence before. However, what I want to finish with is what I mostly enjoyed in the last three days, including today, was first thinking what am I going to tell to high school students in my lecture? And then secondly, and even more, what interactions I had after the lecture, the interactions I had with the graduate students today, it was pity that all of it was so short. So I would suggest, I don't know whether the Foundation would be ever interested, and maybe it's not possible to, with Gerner, our D winners who are active, but for people like me, or maybe there are other, it might be a good idea to ask them to come and be embedded in a department for a month or two and spend the time advising graduate students and postdocs because from our experience in the last five years, it's make a big difference in the life of young scientists if it has somebody who is really always available and doesn't have to travel and doesn't have to write grants and doesn't have to do anything <laughs> and can really devote this time. <clears throat> Thank you very much for being patient and listening to all that. Thank you. Thank you.